All right, we're going to check out this mine, and we got a couple new items. We got the Through Night Archer Pro little mini rechargeable flashlight, and we're going to USB C rechargeable flashlight. They sent this to me to test. And uh, we're going to put it up against a new high tech device I bought here. Now, there's been a lot of talk about the best mine videos and the best equipment. And so I sought out the absolute worst camcorder I could buy. They only sell these in lots of 30, and it's $90 shipped. So this is essentially a $3 camera. And because I'm cheap, it runs on two double A's. I decided to do my own power supply, which is a 26650, which should run this. And uh, we want to just listen to the cheese here. Just Oh, it's got a power switch. It's not sophisticated enough to have a switch in the door. Wow. Nothing but the best. So one thing I've noticed about this is that it requires a lot of light. The sensitivity is very low. So that's where the through night comes in. So this is going to be a real test of this flashlight. So let's go. How do I know when this thing's recording? I guess that's it. So what is this you're struggling with here? Camera, Man, you need to upgrade. Yeah. Ro rolling with that high tech junk. Yeah, it's uh, it's at least three or four years old. So it's that. Yeah, that's just not the best you can buy. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to kick this light here into overdrive. Oh, there we go. Okay. Rocking the world's finest camera. Actually, the light is not bad. The light is really bright. Looks like this might be the ore right here. Ooh, there's water dripping in. We have had a very, very, very wet winter. Okay, it splits here. Wow, the poor sensitivity of this camera and the dispersion of this light it, it gives us a very old school mine exploring flavor. Well, look at we got a winds here. This thing does not have zoom on it. Imagine that. I feel like I'm back in the 90s when I started mine exploring. very wet in here. See, look at that. That's water. What this light does is it 
it drops down after I think one minute it stays on super high for one minute but look at the look at the water coming in here This is wild. Hundred percent humidity. We got some workings here. Anything good? thing is the fact that every three feet there's a pressure change in the air and I feel it. That's about it. I mean check out the humidity. It's yeah. insane in here. I know. I mean Especially, it, the bigger the area the higher up you get. I didn't realize there was that much rain that would come this deep. Alright Jake I'm scared to see if that's a level it's The trip about this light is it slowly it slowly decreases the brightness. Like you cannot know if I if I watch it, I can see it slowly decreasing. But but then if I if I double click it, I get back up to full. So it's it's a trip. It's sort of in that self preservation mode. Don't cremate my LED. Kids are doing here. I can't see it from this angle. It's so humid up here. Does it go anywhere? No. It could go a little further, but. Easier if someone didn't cover it with slippery powdery sand, right? <laughs> yeah. I just don't like going across this section. Because all this is just crumbled. Well, unless Justin really wants to crawl up here. I was gonna go a little further, but that whole wall there is bored. Yeah, it's just crumbling mean, out, so crawling. no handholds. have to keep okay there is the ore right there can you even see it in this three dollar camera tell me how much you love my three dollar camera
weird. The light d is not getting hot at all. It's just it it's limiting. And that's it, it just faces out right there. We were in a drought out west here. And now, now we've just been so inundated with rain. I guess they bailed out on that. Just enjoying the humidity, is that what's going on here? Yeah, I was just commenting, it feels like a sauna. Well, I mean, they're just hiding out down here. and So I think what we need to do is we need to get a few moves going and spoof one of these failing bank music videos. What do you guys think? Is everybody in on that? But have you finished out the, uh, this drift? This yeah. You should finish it though. Yeah, I mean, it's. Now you come to signature. Show your clients what you're worth. Make them go up, up, up. Clients just won't let go. Oh, oh. Now that you're in signature, come on, let your colors burst. Make them go up. We are in the stope. Look at the stope with the moist roof. The name is something moist roof. Moist roof. So this is Justin with TVR exploring as his YouTube channel, and he's got one of the bigger followings on YouTube. And uh, I don't want to make you blush or anything, but right, you you. you if you're not familiar with his channel, you should check it out because he's been doing some really awesome work, kind of rehabbing an old gold mine that had a bunch of collapses, and and uh, it's really amazing what you've done with that. Yeah, a lot of work. These guys helped me out as well, but uh, yeah, especially with the, the YouTube videos getting throttled, you know, the mine exploring videos, a lot of channels have gotten uh, not shadow banned, but throttled by YouTube. And so, thank God for crypto and some help from the Patreon people who are making good progress with that project. Yeah, you really don't see the, the viral mine videos anymore. Remember, we used to see mine videos. Occasionally, one or two or three a year would get, like, Definitely. just pushed out and get tons of views. Yeah, you can count on it. And, I mean, now it's like a lot of our subscribers don't even get notified of our videos and I have, a lot of I have a lot of viewers tell me that they they never see the videos and they're surprised like oh you're still producing videos i'm like yeah i'm still doing one every week right right they never see them when was the last time you saw a viral video like i'm talking about for my channel um gosh gotta kick this gotta reset yeah, go. reset the through night and yeah. blow your blow your yeah, eyes out if i'm getting interrogated it's probably i'd say it's been at least eight months or so Eight months. Yeah, it's at least. Probably longer. I'm just trying to be conservative. Yeah, and I feel like it's targeted because, you know, I have another channel, personally, where I... And, and I've seen just steady, continuous growth. I mean, I haven't... On the mine stuff, I've just seen a, a sharp decline. Yeah, like everybody else. And, and there's also another example of that would be this kind of gal that does desert stuff. Uh, that's really popular and she hasn't seen a decline. It's really sort of specifically the mine stuff that's... Yeah, it's been lumped in, I don't know if I remember if I said this already, but kind of lumped in with the firearms channels and things like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's unfortunate because I, I actually really love doing the mine videos and, you know, I mean, you've got such a good thing going on with that work you're doing, kind of resurrecting and rehabbing that. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. That old mine. And now, of course, with, with gold kind of 
going up and you know um, with the fear of the banking stuff so yeah and I have to worry about these guys hydrating so anyway check out uh, TVR exploring and we're gonna try and get a few more dance moves here steamed out I'm gonna grab a couple pictures of that wind on the way out. Yeah, we're gonna stop and do a couple moves there. It does smell nice in here though. It's, it's not real nasty. It smells nice in here? Yeah. Well, it's, it's, like I said before, it's kind of a nostalgic smell. Uh, it smells good. I mean, we haven't been in the desert since the last summer. Damn. Okay, let's do a couple quick things here. And then we'll get out of here. You guys notice how dry rotted that is? They don't really step. Yeah. In the mines. Because it gets dry it gets wet and dry. Yeah. We are not gonna go down this. Why are we not gonna go down this? We expect it to be poured out. And not too big either. I mean, don't get me wrong, if somebody went back and got the rope, I would be down. If there was a ladder, I'd go down. I'd do it if the rope was here, but I don't have a... I'm not excited about this. So. Oh, okay, well. Um, we're at the winds. We decided not to go down just because, yeah, it's going to be stripped out. And uh, we got more better things to come, but hope everybody in, is enjoying this state-of-the-art high-resolution camera time to exit this dump love those crude bins there they must not have had a Jim Crow no, give them that awkward uh, bend. Right, that's like just wedging it between, putting it in a vise and tweaking it. Yeah, you look at the bending, it's almost like digital. It's like dig, 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 dig. It's not smooth, it's, it's in chunks. That's a good way to describe it, actually. Yeah, this one's really poured out, isn't it? Yep. Nothing to see here. And there's the outside light. I guess he went this way. Now oh, this way. Exploratory. faces right there. Oh, rat's nest. Well, I'm impressed with the little light. I mean, this thing is so small. It's bright. The through night Archer Mini. You can unscrew this, and it's uh, got a USB-C. Um, so use your phone charger. The battery is sealed in here, so I'm not sure what battery it uses. Yeah, I'm sort of used to interchangeable batteries. When I'm doing mines that are 16 to 24 hours, you need interchangeable batteries. But for everyday carry, well, for a small mine, 
It's pretty kick-ass.